The Prime Minister set out some of the detail of his plan for easing restrictions in England. Uh, more of the detail of that has emerged this morning and will continue to come out during the course of today. I want to reiterate that those announcements uh, do not apply yet here in Scotland. Uh, that is not, uh, let me stress, for any political reason. It is because the Scottish Government is not yet confident that these changes can be made safely in Scotland yet without running the risk of the virus potentially running out of control again. So Scotland's lockdown restrictions remain in place for now and our key message remains the same. We need you to stay at home. We do not at this point want to see more businesses opening up or more people going to work. We do not yet want to see more people using public transport and we are not yet changing who can or should be at school. The only change we've made here in Scotland is to the guidance on exercise. As I said yesterday, as of today, we've removed the once a day limit on exercise. It means that if you want to go for a walk more than once a day or to go for a run and also a walk, you can now do so. That change doesn't apply if you or someone in your household has symptoms of the virus or if you received a letter explaining that you are in the shielded group. In these cases, you should still stay at home completely. For everybody else, uh, you still need to stay relatively close to your own home while exercising. And at all times, please stay at least two metres away from people from other households. I also want to stress that by exercise, we mean activities like walking or running or cycling, uh, not at this stage, sunbathing or having a picnic. Uh, this really doesn't give people a license to meet up at the park or at the beach. It is one very minor change, but I think an important change to the existing rules. But all of the restrictions in Scotland for now remain in